Getting better at boxing beta is hard. Luckily today I'll be giving you three easy tips to instantly improve in boxing beta. Ranking them from worst to best. My first tip is to not waste your ultimate. Regardless of what situation you're in, your ultimate will always give you an advantage. Missing your ultimate, or using it and not pushing, will take away your advantage in every situation. Watch this clip and tell me if you know what my opponent did wrong. He used his ultimate and then backed up. This took away any advantage that he had. What he should have done instead was use his ultimate and then back up to avoid end lag and then push forward again. This allows you to maximize the amount of damage that you're doing and minimize the amount of damage that you're taking. This strategy may be a little bit challenging at the beginning because it's just playing aggressive, which leads me on to my next point. Playing aggressive is one of the easiest and the most useful things in boxing beta, but surprisingly, a lot of people don't do it. Let's first establish the two types of aggressive players. There are passive aggressive players and normal aggressive players. Let's start by talking about normal aggressive players. These players play by pushing a lot, which gives their opponents almost no time to heal. This strategy is really powerful because once you apply pressure, if your opponent's block is broken, they can't heal. However, with this strategy being so broken, there are a lot of cons. Watch this clip and see if you can name all of them. You can see that while playing aggressive, I dodged a total of three times, as well with the fact that I also couldn't heal. However, there's another strategy to avoid this. That strategy is playing passive aggressive. Unlike playing normal aggressive, you would usually use this strategy when you're low HP. It's a high risk, high reward strategy. But just how do you do this strategy? Well, it's similar to playing aggressive, but you keep your distance and dodge a lot more. The reason you only want to do this strategy when you're low HP is because of the amount of stamina that you have to use. As you can see in this clip, I'm one hit almost all the time, meaning that I have to hit all of my dodges, which will make me use a lot of stamina. And if I do this early game, that means it might just backfire. This strategy truly relies on breaking your opponent's block before they break yours. Countering is an extremely important part of boxing beta, but a lot of people don't actually know how to do it. There are hundreds of ways to counter, but I'll only be covering the three most important. I'll start by talking about how to counter a successful ultimate. When somebody throws their ultimate and hits your block or your HP, you should hit them twice and then back dodge. As stated previously, this only works because after you use your ultimate, you have end lag. This basically means that after you use your ultimate, you can't do anything. But there is a similar countering strategy that's just like that one, and that's countering just normal punches. If you and your opponent keep on trading 8 damage, the best thing that you can do is punch them twice in the back dodge. This allows you to do 12 damage instead of 8, giving you a 4 damage advantage. It also changes up the pace of the game, catching your opponent off guard. However, by far the most important countering strategy is countering a failed dodge. If you know when your opponent is going to dodge, you can just wait for them. And once they inevitably dodge, you can just punch them when their head is coming back up. During this period of their head coming back up, they can't do anything. This is because of end lag, which is one of the most abusable things that you should take advantage of. What you should take away from this video is that you should play aggressive, not waste your ultimate, and learn how to counter.